Hello and welcome to this lesson on exchange rates, grade 11. Right, now what we're going to do today is basically look at what is an exchange rate and also how to deal with conversions between different, different currencies. Now, first of all, what is a currency? Basically, in South Africa, for example, we have a currency called the Rand. All right, so when we're talking about currencies and exchange rates, we're basically saying that if, let's say, you go to a different country, how would you be able to work out how much money you would get in another country's currency? So, for example, if you go to uh, America or to UK or something like that, or even to every, any other country for that matter, how would you work out how much money each person would get or how much money you would get? All right, so let's look at, at this idea. Right, what's an exchange rate? It is a simple conversion between two currencies. Now, what will happen is that you will get a, a, um, a conversion rate, like for example, one dollar is equal to 15 rand. What does it mean? It just simply means that for every dollar you get, you can convert it to 15 rand. So in other words, if you come from America to, uh, to South Africa, you can get 15 rand for each dollar that you have in your hand. Or if you go from here to America, for every 15 rand that you've got, it, it will convert to $1. Now, the idea behind what we are doing today is simply, when do we need to worry about divide, dividing or when do we worry about multiplying? Right, so now, if I look at, for example, this one, for $1 equals to 15, it means I need to multiply by 15 to get my rand value. All right, if I go from rand to dollar, I would have to divide. All right, we're going to do this as we go along. So for every one dollar in America you have, it will be 15 rand in South Africa. Or if you have every 15 rand in South Africa, you have one dollar in America. Right now, how to convert between currencies. Now, you need to understand the, the, the concept of a stronger currency versus a weak currency. All right. So for example, if you have a look at this one over here, clearly the American dollar is stronger than the rand, which means that this would be classified, the American dollar would be classified as the stronger currency, and we would be classified as the weaker currency. Now, there are cases where we would be classified as the stronger currency compared to the other country. All right, so let's have a look. If we have currencies that are stronger than us, and it is in case like, for example, one of that other, like this over here, one dollar is equal to 15 rand, all right? If we go from the rand to the other currency, we're going to divide. So over here, if I had to go from rand to dollars, I had to divide by 15. If I went from dollars to rands, I would multiply by 15, which is what is the idea behind this. If we go from rand to the other currency, we would divide by the rand value. So we would divide, in this case, by 15. From the other currency to rand, we would multiply by, in this case, 15. Right, so let's talk examples. Right. Convert $23 into rands is equal if $1 is equal to 15. Now notice over here we're going from dollars to rands. So that means it is a, first of all, it's stronger than us. And second of all, it's from dollars to rands, which means we need to multiply. All right, so over here, from the other currency to rand, we're going to multiply. And as a result, we're going to say $23 times by 15 over here gives me 345 rand. Right. Example two. Convert 45 pounds to rand if one pound is equal to 20 rand 75. Now here, once again, we can see pound is stronger than the rand. Now, if you notice why, how I'm able to work it out, simply notice that the one represents the stronger unit. The other number, the big number, would represent the weaker unit. All right, so that's why I'm saying that the pound is stronger than the rand. All right, so we're going from pounds to rands, which means we need to multiply. So we're going to say 45 pounds, okay, times by 20 rand 75 gives you an answer of 933 rand 75. Right, now, we dealt with questions over here where we're going from the other currency to RAND. Let's look at an example where we're going from RAND to the other currency. Convert 60 RAND to pounds, sorry about this button, 
using the same rate x is example two. Now notice we're going to use the same rate of here. So over here we're going from rands to pounds. Now remember when we're going from rand to pound in a stronger currency, we're going to divide. So we're going to say 60 rand divided by 20 rand 75 gives you an answer of 2,89 pounds. Now, what about situations where there are weak currencies involved? For example, when the strain is wrong, uh, the rain is stronger than the other currency, we basically will just simply swap the rules around. So in other words, when we go from rand to the other currency, we're going to multiply. When we go from the other currency to rand, we're going to divide. All right. So let's look at an example. Convert 50 rand to Zimbabwean dollars if one rand is equal to 10,000 Zimbabwean dollars. Now here, the rand is clearly stronger than the Zimbabwean dollar, which means you're going to multiply by, in this case, 10,000. So we say 50 times by 10,000 will give you an answer of 500,000 Zimbabwean dollars. All right, convert 150,000 Zambian quacha to rand if one rand is equal to 125 quacha. Now, here we're going from quacha to rand, which means we need to divide. So we're going from the other currency to rands. So we're going to say 150,000 rand divided by 125 is equal to 1,200 rands. Now, I want you to try out this homework exercise where over here we're going to simply look at how to convert each of these ones to rand. All right, so you're going to convert $23, 34 euros, and then 560,000 Zimbabwean uh, dollars into rands using the exchange rates given to you. For this one, you're going to convert 1,000 1, rand to each of the following currencies the US dollar, the Chinese one, and the Zambian quacha. All right now, number three, if I had $40, how many pounds can I get with it? Now, over here, you're given two exchange rates. You haven't been given a direct exchange rate between the two. So, what you're going to do is you're going to first of all work out how much rands you can get for $40 and then convert that into pounds. All right, that's basically the, 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 the idea behind this one. Simply, you have to go via the RAND to help you work out the answer. Okay.